Hey everyone, standing in my kitchen. Um, wanted to talk to you today about our pressure cooker. Now, not everybody has the luxury of air conditioning in this hot weather. Not everybody feels like making a full meal when they come home. I myself, I don't want to put chicken in the oven, do my rice on the stove, do this, do that. This is going to give me a complete meal all in one. So it's all about working smarter, not harder, and getting your accomplishments the way you want done. It saves you time, saves you energy, saves everything. You're not turning on your stove, you're not heating up your house. So we're gonna do a quick little dish. Anybody that ever orders a pressure cooker from me will get a whole book full of recipes and different things to try. And not only is there meals in there, but there's desserts and stuff as well. So that's always great. Um, I'm going to do some chicken with rice, just something very simple, something very basic. So with the pressure cooker, here's your, this yellow thing here, that's going to be your pressure. So when you take it out of your, when it's not being used, sorry, it's, it's in its down position and this is closed. So that's where you want it to be. When, when it comes out of the microwave, it's going to be up and you're going to have to let it sit and you're going to have to let it, let the pre pressure decrease when it's down. The pressure's decreased. Also, with this, and I don't think you'll be able to see, but there is a minimum and a maximum line to it. So you don't want to be below the minimum and you don't want to be above the maximum. When you do order a pressure cooker, of course, you do get a user manual with it, and I'm here to help you and answer any questions that you may have. So what we're going to do, uh, like I said, I'm just going to do chicken and rice. So the first thing I want to do, and I don't think you can see this very well, one second. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I'm going to put in, I'm just going to use minute rice. You can use whatever kind of rice you want, but I'm going to put in two cups of rice. Just to show you, it doesn't take much time to get for the preparation of this. It's something simple, quick, easy. So there's my two cups of rice. Now, I'm, you can use cream of chicken or cream of mushroom. I have cream of mushroom, so let's just open that. Okay, and this is going to go in there. And we need one can of chicken broth. So I always have cartons of chicken broth, but since we're using the cream of mushroom can, put that in there like so. And that'll actually also help me get the rest of the soup out of the can. care of that. Now I just like to stir it up a little bit. I do like to pre-mix mine a little bit. You don't have to, but that's just something I like to do. So once we have all that in there, now we're going to take our chicken breasts, put them in. I'm using three chicken breasts. Two are quite large, actually. I probably could have just used two, but that's in there. So now, I mean, any seasoning you want, you can put a little bit of seasoning and stuff in, whatever to your taste. There we go. Now this is going to go into the microwave on high for 25 minutes, okay? So when you're gonna, ready to seal your pressure cooker, there is an arrow on the lid as well as an arrow, I guess you can't see that, as well as an arrow on the, on the pressure cooker itself. So you wanna take the arrows, you wanna line them up, and then you want to hand twist to lock, okay? Once you've hand twisted to lock, you want to push down your other lock. So now this is completely locked and ready for the microwave. Okay, so 
so now that is on the microwave is on and it's going um, I will come back after the microwave goes off and we'll continue and I'll show you how everything looks when it comes out of the microwave so I'm just gonna go tidy up my little mess and I'll be back with you shortly hello I'm back so basically I'm in my last minute um, so in that 24 minutes I have taken the dogs out I have fed them I have swept I have vacuumed and I have put a load of laundry in the washing machine so Basically, most of my chores are already done. Um, didn't have to do anything. I'm not waiting for the oven to warm up. I'm not waiting for an hour for chicken breast to cook. So this is just about done. And then I'll show you what it's like when it comes out. Um, this is also great that if you were planning on having something small or you weren't planning on a big dinner and somebody shows up for dinner, you can do roasts in this. You can anything in this there's there's tons and tons of recipes so if you have unexpected company and you want to make a dinner boom you can make a full dinner for everybody using the pressure cooker so we're down just about done here now when you open your microwave there is going to be a little bit of steam so you want to make sure that you're protecting yourself just because you don't want to get burnt with anything but I don't want this to be very loud so I'm just gonna turn it off myself Okay, so I've taken it out. And if it makes a hissing noise, that's normal. It's nothing to be worried about. But I don't know if you can see. So you can see a little bit of the steam coming out there. And you can see that that yellow bobble is up. So at this point, we cannot open the pressure cooker. It is dangerous. We now have to let it sit for approximately 10 to 15 minutes um, until that yellow pressurized thing goes down so I'm gonna go and check and get caught up on my emails and pay a couple bills and I will be back when this is ready and we'll go from there be back hello I'm back again clothes are in the dryer um, so this isn't as hot I can pick it up now but you can see how the yellow tab has gone back all the way down so now this is ready for us to open and check it out. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to unlock the top. We're going to twist to unlock. Now again, you want to be very careful because you don't want to get hurt or burn yourself. So when you lift the lid, you want to lift it away from you so that any of the steam is going to come out this way. Okay. So we're just going to lift like this. that to the side now this is what everything looks like and just to show you we'll take one of the pieces of chicken out and actually I didn't even have to cut it to show you because it just flaked right off fully cooked through smells amazing now this is enough for probably four people so I guess I'll be having leftovers for a while but that's it that's all there was to it basically I've gotten my chores done that needed to be done coming home from work I've got dinner made for myself for the next few days it's Friday it's a long weekend so I'm going to now sit down relax have a glass of wine with my dinner and clean up there was nothing much for cleanup um, again this is amazing it is great in a pinch or you can plan it out for people you know now that we're all back at work you don't want to leave your crock pot on during the day or anything plugged in if there's nobody at home when you get home it takes five less than five minutes to put your ingredients in depending on the recipe so put it in the microwave do what you have to do come back take it out let it sit catch up on your emails pay your bills whatever you need to do and then you have your meal again company shows up unexpectedly then it's easy it's an easy fix right you have something just toss it in and away you go uh, if you have any other questions about the pressure cooker let me know 
and keep an eye on my page for stuff coming up in the next couple weeks, okay? So everybody have a great long weekend, enjoy your evening, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.